Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do the tune Camp Town Races. I'm sure it's popped up in a Bugs Bunny cartoon somewhere. I just can't, can't remember which one. If you remember which one, please uh, let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna play the entire tune at a medium speed and then break it down into small parts so that you're sure to get it. And this is a good tune for beginners, okay? I'm gonna um, offer a few suggestions a few challenges at the end as well. Um, here we go, whole tune. Okay, so to start, we're going to do the D major scale. Always a good idea to play the, the scale of the tune. Okay, um, maybe you don't know the scale of it, and that's understandable. I've created something called the, fiddle, the, the tune sheet sheet that's available at the course outline at Keep, which is fiddlehead.com, and uh, there you'll also find sheet music and MP3s. So anyway, the cheat sheet will tell you the um, tune name, the, the first few notes of the tune are tabbed out, the scale it'll tell you. So it's a very useful thing to do, all right? So now let's, let's begin learning this. Um, we're gonna, Go start at the A part and learn the first quarter. Now let's do it with a little more flow. All left hand fingerings are tabbed in the description below, starting twice A to D2, then back to A back to D2. One more time on the first quarter. Let's now do the second quarter. Okay, here's that second quarter with more flow. All right, so um, now, let's see, uh, all that is is D2-1 twice in a row, all right? The rhythm is short, long, short, long. So, um, one thing that's useful for practicing tunes is to sing the melodies if you're so inclined. And I'm trying to do that more in these video lessons and with in-person students as well. So, let's try to do that. Camp Town Races, sing this song, do da, do da, play it. One more time. Camp Town Races, sing this song, do da, do da. So let's move on. Thanks for doing that, by the way, if you did it. If you didn't, don't worry, I'm not mad at you. Not everybody likes singing. It's just the way it is. Um, let's do, let's see, the third quarter of the A part is the same as the first. Let's review it. And now let's learn the fourth quarter of the A part. Here it is with flow. One, three, two, one, open, open, all on D. All right, so here comes the point in the video where I say to you that we're gonna do the entire A part. If anything is unclear, pause now, 
and practice, review each part, and then you'll be ready to do the whole thing with me in a minute. Here we go, whole A part, slowly. Okay, so um, let's move on and do the B part. I'll just say in advance that the second half of the B is the same as the second half of the A. So if you really take the time now to learn that A part well, your work will be a lot easier for the B part. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's learn the first quarter of the B part. All right, here it is with more flow. Open D twice to two, then open A, A3. So sometimes uh, students can hear it and finger it, but it doesn't sound good. And a very useful practice is to put down your bow and just pluck that particular thing, or even the whole tune, once or twice. Okay, you could even loop on that. And so on, all right? Plucking's a great thing, and then well, you can focus on the left hand a little bit that way. Then you pick up the bow and maybe maybe warm up the bow again. Find your sound and then try the first quarter of the B again. Voila! All right, let's now do the second quarter of the B part. and with more flow. One, one, three, one, open, all on A. As I said earlier, the second half of the B part is the same as the second half of the A part. I'm just gonna review it now. Okay, let's do the entire B part. As before, if the first quarter of the B or the second quarter of the B is you're unsure of, why don't you pause and practice it? Otherwise, let's get going. Whole B part. And that's the whole tune. Um, now, if you want, if you're a beginner, here's a, a little challenge for you. Once you're able, able to do the tune comfortably, easily, a few times in a row, say, you can start to try to transpose it to another string. That's a fancy word for just starting the tune on another string. So we could play G major scale, and then start the tune on open D to play it in G. And similar to that, we could play it in the A major scale by starting it on open E. So this tune, simple little ditty, but suddenly it's a great practice tool. These tunes become like friends that help you learn new things. You keep returning to them and they teach you new things, all right? Um, so let's see, uh, one last ch challenge. Um, 
if you um, if you're familiar with like the G scale or or the you can start the tune on A3. So that will be a different fingering. I'm going to offer a hint for that in the description below. I'm going to give you tab out one quarter, then you have to figure out the rest. Okay? Well, um, so hopefully that'll be fun. And if you're even more advanced, you can try it in a more difficult scale, like A flat or something weird. Okay, cool. Glad you made it to the end. Pat yourself on the back because you made it to the end. Most people don't do that. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Excellent.